I, uh, yeah. got no dough. Yeah. Well, I'm expecting a check in the morning. Good night, John. It's rather a large check, sir. Uh, oh, when you catch it, come around and I'll be glad to see you. No, no, just, just a half bottle. Well, go right home, doctor, please, Mr. Sullivan. I'm not well. I haven't been well for a long time. Well, you claim you were once a big shot doctor. Write yourself a prescription. Oh, please, look, I'll pay you back tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I've cashed in an insurance policy. You see, the insurance company says they're sending a check out today. Go uh, home, have a nice sleep, and wait for the mailman. Mr. I need a drink. I, I need one badly, but please. Look, charity begins at home, and it's been home. Now get out of here. Now listen, listen, I'll pay you double, huh? Yeah, double what it costs as soon as I cash the check. I'll come straight here from the bank. I promise you, Mr. Sullivan, I'll come straight. No, please. no, now get out before I throw you out. <laughs> Daniels here. Put me through to his session 43, please. Yes, Doctor. Just a moment. Who's next to me, Dr. Jim Stanley. Yeah. Where are you? I was still looking for Winthrop. Well, you better give up. Why, what's happening? This is Wolf. Your condition is safe. Well, how bad is it? Well, I've all but decided to have a take into the operating together. Can we hold off any longer? I wouldn't like to risk it too much longer. Oh. Hold off as long as you dare, Jim. If I'm not there, operate. while my wife's condition gets worse. You're going to keep looking for a drunk. I've tried to explain to you, Mr. Morgan. Your explanation is far from satisfactory, Dr. Sanders. I'm doing what I think is best. I wonder what the hospital board will have to say to that. If my wife dies, I'm going to report to you. I'm going to see that you're deregistered. You'll never operate again. Goodbye, Dr. Samuel. <laughs> Me. I'm 
I'm looking for Dr. Winthrop. Dr. Winthrop? Uh, a small man, middle-aged, with gray hair. No doctor's coming here to drink, sir. Uh, unless you want to count the bar fly. Oh, uh, who's that? Little guy who comes into the cafe for drinks. Always got a story about money coming the next day. Says he was a doctor. So I call him Doc. Does he have a burn scar on his chin? Uh, yeah, yeah, he does. Uh, where can I find him? Well, I don't know about that. Please, it's very important. All I know is that he comes in every couple of days or so. Then he must live in the dairy. That's right, you know. Doesn't the cheap Roman houses around here? <laughs> Dr. Wilson, I demand to know the exact position regarding my wife. Didn't Dr. Samuels tell you the position? I have no faith in Dr. Samuels. He phoned this hospital from a saloon. He was told that my wife's condition was failing. Yes, that's true. I tell you. Well, what are you going to do about it? If her condition remains the same, we'll operate in an hour. If I think an operation is necessary before then, I'll order it. If my wife doesn't survive this operation... We'll do everything humanly possible, Mr. Morgan. If she doesn't survive, I'm going to do everything humanly possible to end the career of Dr. Samuels. <laughs> the moment we return with our story, Dark Desperation. Out he goes. If he's still alive. What? Oh, Mr. Dean, 
Mr. Daniels. Stop, Mr. Daniels. It's Dr. Winthrop. I have to take him over to your apartment. Open all the windows. How is it? He'll be coming around in a moment. Thank heaven. So is the doctor. It just goes to show that you never know. But I wonder why he changed his name. <laughs> You could have saved me. Hello. Hello. There's a woman at the city hospital who needs your skill. After her, there'll be other time. No good. You're the best brain surgeon in the world. Please? Mrs. Uh, uh, Murray. White coffee. Plenty of it. Yes, sir. It's on the stove. I'll get it. I don't want any coffee. You're going to drink it, Dr. Winslow. Then we're going to city hospital. And if it's not too late, you're going to help me with a brain operation. Your mind, your instinct, your tears. This woman needs you too. And there are others. Patients you can help save. Surgeons you can teach. I believe in you, Dr. Winslow. I always have. You came looking for me so I could assist you in this operation. Yes. All right, Sam. I owe you my life. Do what you want with it. We'll be back in a minute to Carol and our story, Dark Desperation. The patient's just been wheeled into the operating theater, Dr. Wilson. He's being prepared for the operation. Good. Well, I can't wait for Dr. Samuels any longer. Where's Mr. Morgan? He's in the waiting room. I told him he was to stay there. He's very upset. Yes. Well, I'd better get ready. Dan! Hello, Jim. You remember Dr. Wilson? Of course. He's going to go sit. I'll operate. I'll get your things, Dr. Samuels. Ready, Dr. Winthrop? I... Yeah. Then let's go into the theater, huh? Very well. Samuel! Wait. Yes. I... I'm afraid. I'm not. I have every reason to feel confident with you beside me. 
Thank you. Let it go. Doctor. Tonight's tarot story, Dark Desperation. I'll be back in just a moment. 